In this video, I am going to explain how to draw a cycloid. The question is, a coin of 40 mm diameter rolls over a horizontal table without slipping. A point on the circumference of the coin is in contact with the table surface in the beginning and after one complete revolution. Draw the path traced by the point. Also draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve. So in the question, the coin is diameter 40 mm. The coin is a horizontal table roll without slipping. Slip path is roll. So normally, a circular object is a flat surface or a horizontal table roll. And the point is traced on the path is cycloid. Okay, well. So here, a point on the circumference of the coin is in contact with the table. Surface in the beginning, that is the coin on the roll of the and after one complete revolution, that is the complete revolution, that is the point on the circumference of the point trace and the path they are asking to draw. So that point, that uh, curve is a cycloid curve, okay. Uh, and also they are asking draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve. So first you write the given data, here the diameter of the coin is given, the diameter value is 40 mm. And next uh, we need to find out the circumference of the circle. So the formula is pi d, so pi into 40, d is the diameter of the coin. So pi into 40 is equal to 126 mm. Okay, so circumference of the coin is 126 mm. So now we are going to draw the cycloid curve. So first you draw the you draw the circle for the diameter of 40 mm okay so the diameter of the coin first we draw the uh, diameter of the coin compass la 20 mm eduthu the radius of the coin vandu 20 mm 20 mm radius eduthu first we draw one circle so now we get the diameter of the circle is 40 mm okay so we need to mention the diameter so here i mentioned the diameter of the circle so diameter 40 so like uh, we mentioned the dimension of the circle so after that, uh, we need to divide this circle into 8 equal parts, okay. So by the help of the protractor, we divide this circle into 8 equal parts and we give the number. The number we give in anti-clockwise direction. So first we start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we need to draw one line okay so this is a point p from here the curve is going to be traced okay from this point from the point number eight from this point we need to draw one straight line the length of the line is equal to the circumference of the coin okay so the value is equal to pi, pi into 40 equal to 126 mm so in your scale we trace a line of the length 126 mm and from the end of the point, we draw one vertical line. The length of the line is the diameter of the coin. The value is 40 mm. And also from here, we draw one straight line and we complete the line. Okay. And now we need to divide this line into 8 equal parts. Because here we divide the circle into 8 equal parts. We also divide the length of the circumference of the coin also into 8 equal parts okay so by bisecting method we divide the line into 8 equal parts and next here this is the point of center C so we mark the point center C from the center I am going to draw one straight line and now 
here i already divide the line into eight equal parts here also i give the number so here i mention 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash and 8 dash okay from all the divisions i am going to draw one straight line till the center of the uh, center center uh, center line okay that means the locus of the center line okay so from point 1 from point 2 from point 3 from point 4 from point 5 from point 6 point 7 and the point 8 okay so here i mentioned the name so already see is there here the point is c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 and c8 and now take a compass and take the radius of the coin or the cylinder okay here the radius of the cylinder is 20 mm okay so take the radius so this is the first point make c is the center and make the first point on the point number 8 okay this is the first point okay and next place the compass on the c1 so before that uh, we need to draw a straight line from all the points from point number 1 and 7 point number 3 and 5 point number 6 and 2 and point number 4 okay so already point number 4 point number 8 and point number 6 and 2 straight lines are there we also trace a straight line from point number 1 and 7 point number 1 and 7 we need to draw one straight line and point number 5 and 3 point number 5 and 3 also we need to draw one straight line and now take the compass and measure the radius of the cylinder and make the first point at point number 8 and next place the compass on C1 C1 is the center and make an arc on the line passing through point 1 line passing through point 1 okay so this is the point number 1 through the point the line is passing so c1 is the center c1 is the center and we make the arc on this line okay so this is the point number 1 okay point number 1 uh, and next c2 is the center and make a an arc on the line passing through point 2 so this is the line passing through point 2 so make the arc here and next place the compass on the point c3 and now we make a an arc on the line which passing through the point number 3 so this is the line which is passing through the point number 3 so make the arc here and next c4 is the center and make a an arc on the line passing through point number 4 okay so it exactly come here so make the arc so this is the line passing through point 4 and next c5 is the center c5 is the center and make a an arc on the line passing through point 5 this is another point point 5 and the line passing through point 5 and make the arc here and next c6 is the center and make a an arc on the line passing through point number 6 so this is the line this is the line passing through point 6 so make the arc here and next c7 is the center c7 is the center and make a an arc on the line passing through point number 7 so this is the so here it comes so make the arc on the line passing through point number 7 and finally c8 is the center and make arc on the 8 point okay so so now 
we get various points and i am going to name give a name on the various points so here this is the point number p1 and this is p2 and this one is p3 and here p4 p5 here p6 p7 and p8 now through these all points i am going to trace a smooth curve so from the curve starts from this point point p okay so from p i am going to trace a smooth curve so first uh, we draw very lightly so after that we darken the curve so this is a uh, cycloid curve okay in this question they also ask draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve uh, so i am going to uh, select one point on the cycloidal curve at any one place i am going to select uh, here in between point 5 and point 6 so this is the point i give the name any one name uh, we can give so i give the name is k okay so this is the point point k so now what to do uh, we take the radius of the cylinder and k is the center and make a arc on the center line the locus of the center line so make the arc so this value is 20 mm 20 mm radius okay so take the value and connect this arc and the point k and now so here this value the radius is 20 okay and now from that point on the locus of the center line I trace one straight line to the to the baseline. Okay, so this line, this line is the baseline. I'm going to draw one straight line to the baseline. Okay, so from the baseline, I'm going to connect the point K. From the baseline, this line is the baseline. From the baseline, I'm going to connect the point K. So here, this line is a normal line n and n dash and now place the protractor over the line on the normal line and point k is the center of the protractor and mark angle 90 degree and now through the point k we trace one straight line so this line is called the tangent line here the tangent line tt dash never cut the or never cross the uh, cycloidal curve okay so after that we need to mention the name of the curve so put on leader line and you give the name cycloid C Y C L O I D cycloid. Also, you mentioned the dimension for the baseline, and in the bottom you write T T dash tangent N N dash normal. All dimensions are in mm. Scale one is to one. 